A big cat without a roar. As North America's second largest cat, the cougar is an intimidating creature to run into. The cougar is unable to roar because it doesn't have the needed larynx to do so. Instead, the big cat purrs, growls, hisses and screams as well as whistles and chirps. Cougars are also called pumas, panthers and mountain lions. The cats have round heads, pointed ears and slender bodies. Cougars are superior hunters. The felines are found in many parts of the world. Cougars dine on animals like deer, raccoons and even crocodiles. Like most felines, cougars are solitary animals. A cougar's body is similar to that of a house cat on a larger scale. Mountain lion coats are a grayish tan to a reddish hue, and the animal features lighter parts underneath. The end of a cougar's tail is black, and the cat has black markings on its ears and face. An amazing fact about cougars is that they can jump 20 feet into the air. This allows them to pounce on prey that's 20 feet to 40 feet away from a standing position. Pumas range from 5 feet to 9 feet in length from head to tail with male cougars weighing as much as 150 pounds and females topping out at about 100 pounds. Mountain lions are solitary animals unless a mother cougar is raising cubs. On occasion, the animals will share kills with one another. They establish themselves in small communities based around the territories of strong male cougars. Cats that live within these areas socialize with one another more often than animals that are outside of them. These big cats have one of the largest ranges of any wild animal species throughout the Americas. You'll find them from Canada's northern Yukon to the southern Andes. The animal is able to adapt to a variety of habitats including forests, mountainous deserts and lowland areas. Cougars prefer to live in parts of the country that feature steep canyons, rim rocks and dense brush for protection. However, they can survive well in open areas that have very little vegetation. These big cats aren't picky about their diets. They'll dine on insects, mice, beavers, raccoons, rabbits, and wild turkeys. Since cougars live in Patagonia's Monte Leon National Park, they've become quite skilled at hunting penguins. Those that live in Florida sometimes make a meal out of a crocodile. In North America, cougars frequently eat deer. In fact, they typically kill one large deer every two weeks. These large felines are not generally scavengers, but if a deer carcass has been left exposed, then they may eat it, meaning that the cats sometimes display resourceful behavior. Because of their powerful hind legs, cougars are ambush predators. They are hunters that stalk their victims through brush and trees before leaping powerfully onto it, delivering a deadly neck bite. The animal is able to break the neck of its prey with one strong bite and the force of driving its prey to the earth. Humans are the biggest predators of cougars with people hunting them for sport and to protect livestock. People are also the main cause of the cats losing their habitats. In states like Florida, highways are often deadly to cougars. Out in the wild, wolf packs will prey on the cats because they're able to surround the animal and overwhelm it with numbers. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, the cougar will usually survive the match. Wolves are more likely to affect cougars by dominating the same territory and taking advantage of prey opportunities. Wolves can also disrupt the cougar's ability to reproduce. The feline is not on the endangered species list, but conservation groups remain unsure about how well the cougar population is doing around the world. In the United States, the only state that prohibits hunting them is California. However, it is illegal to hunt them in Costa Rica, Guatemala, Venezuela, Brazil and throughout most of Argentina. To hunt the big cat in the US, hunters must obtain a permit unless they live in Texas. Poachers target cougars, but the effects of this action on the cat are unknown. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service reports that the illegal animal part trade is a $200 million a year market, and it's growing. 